Hello and welcome back to Somo Diecast. My name is Ron. Well, we have a uh, interesting little truck here. It's kind of a mashup between a 50s Ford pickup and some modern styling. It's a casting from 2002 called a Switchback. So, uh, this ought to be a fun little project. I don't really hate the color scheme at all and don't really hate the wheels, but uh, I just want to put my own little spin on it. I'm uh, going to have to source uh, some uh, replacement surfboards for the back of it, but uh, it ought to be a fun little build. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. We'll get this thing torn down and see what the pieces and parts look like and get this build on the road. Stay tuned. And here's all the pieces and parts for our little 2002 Hot Wheels switchback. I can already tell, got a lot of casting lines to deal with, <laughs> at least on the front. I've already drilled it and tapped it, yeah, but I, uh, that ought to clean up pretty good. Glass is in pretty good shape. There's a little scuff right there. Probably going to sand that out and get rid of the chrome on the interior. The base, uh, well, it'll gonna do a wheel swap so I already took the wheels off but like I said I don't really hate the wheels but we're probably gonna go with maybe some real riders all right well let's go ahead and get the casting in the stripper and the get the chrome off that interior and get everything else cleaned up and move along everybody stay tuned
And here's a quick look back at our little 2002 Hot Wheels casting switchback. Let's go ahead and get to the reveal and we'll see what I did to this poor little thing. Stay tuned. And here is our completed Hot Wheels switchback. I uh, did a wheel swap on it, of course, and put a set of real riders on it. And uh, when I tore it down, I uh, cleaned up the body quite a bit and uh, got rid of all the casting lines that I could. And then I shot it with a uh, Rust-Oleum color shift uh, pink champagne and went over that then with a uh, I did a little uh, rust-oleum rose gold metallic and so it's got a, a the uh, color color shift on the top and the bottom and the rose gold in the middle and then, of course, I went over the top of that with a few coats of Menwax Clear. So it, uh, it came out really very happy with the way it came out. Uh, much better than the black and orange that it was. You can kind of see some of the sparkle in that as it goes around on the turntable here. And it's kind of hard to see, but uh, that rose gold and that pink champagne are very close but I think you get the gist <laughs> and of course picked out the chrome on the grill and a little on the exhaust in the back and the little uh, bumper in the middle then uh, picked out the headlights and tail lights and the uh, turn signals in the back so uh, I think overall it came out really nice at least I'm really happy with it so uh, I do need to source some shorter surfboards these I borrowed from a Diora and uh, it's a later a newer model of the Diora but uh, overall I think it uh, yeah it just needs some shorter surfboards on it so we'll, we'll worry about that later. It looks good with or without them. Uh, also picked out the side vents a little bit. And the, uh, the driving lights there on the front bumper. Uh, overall, I, it's a very nice old truck. And I, I love the blend of the late model with the uh, older 50s grill and front fenders and hood. So, uh, whoever designed it at Hot Wheels, I give you a thumbs up. <laughs> well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please do. And be sure you tell your friends. Got a lot of bills coming and going and uh, Having a lot of fun doing them, so hopefully you'll come back here to Sumo Diecast and join us as we continue to put these little models out and build them. And uh, I will see you in the next.